The two basic terms used most often by economists are supply and demand. Supply is the amount of a product available, and demand is the degree to which people want that product. Together, supply and demand make up a working market. The market is the way in which an economic activity is organized between buyers and sellers through their behavior and interaction with one another. Buyers, as a group, determine the overall demand for a product at various prices, while sellers, as a group, determine the supply of a particular product at various prices. The interaction of buyers and sellers in the market helps to determine the market price. The price is taken into account when deciding how much of something to consume and also how much to produce. The relationship between price and quantity is so universal that it is called the law of demand. This law states that when the price of a good rises, the quantity demanded falls. And when the price falls, the quantity demanded rises. The supply curve provides the opposite information, which is the higher the price, the higher the quantity supplied, and the lower the price, the lower the quantity supplied. A key function of the market is to provide the equilibrium price. Equilibrium occurs when supply and demand are in balance. At this price, the goods supplied are equal to that which is demanded, thereby bringing about the most efficient allocation of the goods. There are influences other than price that play a role in the balance of the market, such as prices of related goods, buyers, expectations and tastes, and the number of buyers in general. On the demand side, income can play a significant role. As income rises, people will buy more goods or even begin to purchase more expensive, higher quality goods. The price of related goods can also alter demand. For example, if the price of one cereal increases, demand will likely switch to a similar cereal, which would be considered a substitute good. If the goods are considered to be complementary, or are typically used together, a decrease in the price of one of the goods will increase the demand for another. An example of complementary goods are cars and gasoline, where the price of gasoline depends partly on the number of cars. On the supply side, both expectations and the number of sellers can influence the number of goods produced. In addition, the cost of producing the good, or the input prices, and the level of technology used to turn the inputs into goods greatly influence the final price and quantity supplied.